Hi there, Evan here with Crypto and Markets for Tuesday, November 27th, 2018. I just want to talk about quickly my thoughts on the, the GM plant closure in Oshawa. Firstly, to the people of Oshawa, to all the workers and families that are ultimately affected by this, my heart goes out to you. I can't even fathom the situation you're in right now. So I will say that. As far as the plant closure, it's part of a broader restructuring by GM. They are closing up to five factories in the U.S. also. And unfortunately, we have been in an auto slowdown since really the beginning of 2017. Canada is arguably the highest cost producer of automobiles in the world. And here we are. I mean, people of Durham region, to be honest, their number one worry for the, at least the last at least the last two decades has been the GM plant closure, and here we are. And of course, on Oshawa itself, every job lost at the plant is going to be at least six or seven lost there. For all the bars and eating establishments in Oshawa. People want to go out for a drink after work. People want to head out for lunch or a dinner after work or whatnot. There's obviously an impact there. All the cars, furniture, and appliances that are bought. After all the workers buy homes, there's the impact there. Again, as far as the economic impact, there isn't enough time in this video for me to go over it, unfortunately. But, but you get my general idea here. Where it isn't just about the GM factory itself. It's about the greater economic impact and that there's going to be jobs lost beyond it. That's what I'm saying. Sorry. Another thing I wanted to rebuff here before I end this video. There seems to be a general theme among this economists. Saying that we've diversified enough away from manufacturing... To be able to withstand it. Think about this. What did we diversify into? Real estate. Debt. I mean, after all, we are in a credit bubble, right? So in other words, we take away our manufacturing jobs, diversify into real estate related sectors, and just made it even worse than ourselves. And now the housing bubble, by the looks of it, starting to unwind now. I mean, you could argue it's ten times worse now. And of course, I'll never tell you that, but... So that's generally all I really wanted to say. Unfortunately, all levels of government did try to retain the factory in Oshawa. GMs told them the plan's long gone, so as far as I'm concerned, in December in 2019, the plant's closed. There will be an economic impact, of course, on Oshawa, which it, which is going to plan over time, as I mentioned in here. And also another thing before I go as well. Think about this. In the real estate sector, how many jobs are created there to go ahead and feed the housing bubble? And it even goes beyond the fire sector. All the manufacturing and warehousing jobs too that are feeding into the building of homes. Think about that as well. Really? Perfect place to go ahead and leave it. Hit the like button, leave a comment down below, subscribe for more, and most importantly, follow me on Twitter at CryptoMarkets2. I gotta go. See you later. Have a good day.